That's the deal with airplane peanuts. peanuts. If you've been a fan of Kill Tony, odds are you've heard of The Secret Show more than once. I would love to have you on The Secret Show Thursday if you can. I'd love to have you on The Secret Show Thursday. Whoa, look at that. I'd love it's to have you on The Secret Show Thursday. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. I'd love to have you on The Secret Show Thursday. Whoa, so look at that. I'd love to have you on The Secret Show Thursday. Yeah, I'm going to send them to The Secret Show, yes. <laughs> at the Whole Foods of Comedy Clubs Thursday for The Secret Show. Whoa. Amongst Kill Tony fans, Red Band's Secret Show has its own lore and backstory. Almost every episode of Kill Tony involves a Secret Show invitation that's extended by Red Band to the comedian with the best set of the night. But besides The Secret Show being a bit of a meme online, not much else is known about it, hence the name. However, upon further investigation, it turns out that The Secret Show might not only just be the best bang for your buck, but also one of the best overall showcases in all of live comedy. The Secret Show takes place right here at the Sunset Strip Comedy Club every single Thursday night in Austin, Texas, and typically is made up of any Kill Tony standouts from the previous Monday, as well as some surprise guests who might be in town on tour or performing at the Mothership. I was just in Austin for nine days and went to 26 different comedy shows spanning close to 100 comedians at eight different venues. From Nate Bargatsian and arena to Duncan Trussell at the mothership to literal open mics, we saw basically everything Austin's comedy scene has to offer. But nothing was more notable from a news perspective or mind-blowing from a fan perspective than what went down on Thursday night at the Sunset Strip. Earlier that day, we got a hot tip that Ari Shafir was going to be a surprise guest on the show. When he was introduced about halfway through the evening, everyone was super hype and I for one thought that would be the end of the special guests. But after his 10 minute set concluded, Ari began to bring up the next comedian by saying, you know him from the longest yard, you know him from the church of what's happening now. And at this point, I literally turned to my buddy and said, this has to be a joke. Ari's definitely f***ing with us, pretending Joey's here. But before I could even finish that sentence, everyone in the building was on their feet, losing their shit, while seeing Joey Diaz make his way through the curtain for his first ever appearance at the Sunset Strip. I don't think I've ever seen a crowd more excited to hear live comedy than Thursday night. Every single person was on the edge of their seat, living and dying on every single word Joey said. It was incredible that we were all witnessing a show like this in such an intimate room off a $20 ticket. An experience so special that even the staff couldn't believe it. I am Yonder Wizard. I am the head door guy here at Sunset Strip in Austin, Texas. The lead up to it started a couple months ago. Red Man was on the phone with Joey in the green room and Joey was supposed to come by but he just got too f***ed up. Long story short, he said, I'll get you next time. So we're sitting up there and Red Band's like, hey, go downstairs and get Joey Diaz. So I'm like, okay, this is it. He's here. So I come down and we all get him and he gets upstairs and I'm just in shock this entire time. I don't know. I've never seen this room get that loud before. Ari Shafir starts giving the credits. You've seen him in the longest yard. You've seen him on his podcast, The Church of What's Happening Now. And the room erupts. It was like a cartoon with people like leaning over the backs of the row in front of them. You saw it. It was crazy. I think I cried. I honestly think I cried a little bit. It's good for the club, but not just good for the club. It's good for comedy. Like the fact that those guys are willing to come and play our club. We're the other ship. You know, like with the fact that they'll come and play our club is awesome. And Red Band makes that happen every Thursday. You never know who's going to pop into these secret shows. So how is the secret show typically fun? Red Band does that. He will uh, get people that are locals. He'll get a couple local killers. He'll obviously pull a couple good bucket pulls from Kill Tony. And those guys will get a secret show. I've, my first couple secret shows was that situation where I just had decent sets on Kill Tony and got to do the show. And that's usually how that works. That's all Red Band. The Sunset Strip is up there with some of the coolest clubs I've ever been to vibe-wise with a pretty good chair set up and some dope lighting inside. And because Brian Redband is the co-owner of the club, this place has such a high ceiling to book big time special guests like Joey Diaz and Ari Shafir. It's also one of the main spots Austin comics like to hang out in their free time. And the green room setup is even complete with a new PlayStation purchased by Cam Patterson. I was also at Sunset a few days earlier to see a show called Quarter Slots with Tommy Pope, Dylan Sullivan, and Rachel Wolfson. And also again a few nights after the secret show for another quick showcase that featured Liam Culla from Friday Beers. 
which is a group I'm personally a huge fan of, and ironically enough, we sat behind the whole Friday Beers crew during the secret show on Thursday. But they actually ended up leaving early and missed Ari and Joey by about two comedians, which was pretty funny breaking that news to Liam the next day prior to our interview. I don't know if you heard, but after you guys left, Ari and Joey Diaz came out at sunset. Oh, oh, at sunset? Guest spots from last week. The Joe Rogan Experience had Tucker Carlson, Graham Hancock, and Flint Gibble, and Neil Brennan on the show. Neil was also on Two Bears, One Cave. Hannibal Burris was on The Danny Brown Show. Johnny Pemberton was on Whiskey Ginger. Nick Bryant was on Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast. Your Mom's House, Bad Friends, Tim Dillon, Are You Garbage, and Flagrant all did not have guests. Ari Shafir and Jared Freed were on The Legion of Skanks. And Kill Tony this week featured Adam Ray and Ian Edwards. The Afternoon Drive with Elaine, 95.5 KLOS. Yeah. And here is an example of Elaine DJing. <laughs> it's 6.23 p.m. right now. We're playing the Phrase That Pays. John Mayer, we got free John Mayer tickets to see him at the Palladium tonight. Call it the Phrase That Pays, 102.5. <laughs> Be careful outside. It's getting dicey. If you're going to try stand-up comedy, put on a mask because there's pollen outside. You don't want to fuck up your one chance on Kill Tony. Call in right now, 421-1015. Get two free John Mayer. Oh, we're going to take that call right now. Hello? Yeah, hi, it's me, Red Band. I'm looking for a titty pop. <laughs> This past weekend with Thea Vaughn talked with a carny. Lisa Ann and Brett Raybould stopped by the Real Ass Podcast. Stavi's World had a best of 420 compilation. Tiger Belly spoke with Mike Majlack. The Blocks Podcast had Brian Simpson on the show. Rick Glassman had Rain Wilson take his shoes off. Taste Buds battled 80 Toys Part 4. Joe Santagato was on Soder. Dan Cummins was on The Way Back. Dan St. Germain was on Only Fiends, who was also on Rough Week. Rafi Bastos was on We Might Be Drunk. And there's a brand new episode of The Regs. As far as new stand-up comedy specials are either out right now or coming out soon, Ian Fidance Wild, Happy, and Free is out right now on the Be and Ian with Jordan YouTube channel, which is 51 minutes of comedy with an all-time Ghostbusters intro. Out on Netflix right now is Neil Brennan Crazy Good and Jimmy Carr Natural Born Killer. And we also have Mike Britt Check the Mic out right now on YouTube. And a few specials in the works right now that will be coming out soon. Nikki Glazer announced that her new special Someday You'll Die will be premiering on HBO May 11th. And Netflix is continuing to push forward in the live comedy streaming space with the announcement of yet another live event coming to their festival in May. The Roast of Tom Brady featuring Kevin Hart, Jeff Ross, and more surprise guests. This festival will also feature live streams from Cat Williams and John Mulaney, which we will have more on in a few weeks. Other than that, we're going to have a ton of content coming out on this channel and Clip World from our 10-day trip to Austin, Texas that I'm super stoked to share with you all, including some really cool interviews with great comedians, a few show and club reviews, and a ton of other stuff that hopefully you'll see very soon if you press the subscribe button right now. Also, shout out to everyone that I met in Austin who said they were fans of the channel. That was unbelievably cool to hear people say that these videos actually help them stay up to date with all of their favorite comedians. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, if you're interested in claiming some free Joke World stickers, check out the link in our bio. At Joke World. And the world is W R L D. That's a great uh, YouTube channel, Joke World. Check it out. For you, what makes Austin, Texas, so special when it comes to comedy? The fact that you can walk from Sunset Strip to Black Rabbit to Mothership to Creek in the Cave, Vulcan, Velveeta Room—all of those are a three to five minute walk from where I'm standing right now.